So hello and welcome back to our channel and for today's video I'm going to teach you on how to build a DIY uh, Makita battery. So this is the original Makita 5 amp hour 18 volt system for your power tool. Yeah, this one. Then I ordered uh, 21700 kit from AliExpress. So what's inside is the uh, battery holders, the main board, um, the sticker, and then this is the top cover, the nickel plates here, then screws and some springs, and this one is the indicator light. Indicator sticker, indicator light. So this is a kit already if you will buy in AliExpress. And I do have a spare uh, Samsung 50S. This is brand new. 21700 uh, Samsung 50S. This is a uh, 5 amp hour battery. This can handle your power tools very well. So I will build a uh, 5S 2P system. So that will be 18 volts. Uh, 10 amp hour in total. Because... Uh, Samsung 50S is 5 amp hour each so it, it will be like 2P so it will be 5 plus 5 is 10 amp so 18 volts 10 amp hour battery system so the first step is you're going to identify your board so on this board there's this B minus <coughs> so yeah, B1 B2 B3 B4 and then the B plus so you're going to check the orientation in the on the holder. So on this scenario, it's like this. So you're going to notice that the B minus is right here. So this is your uh, total negative. So the orientation of your battery will be like this. Here we go. Good. The other one. Okay, so this is the orientation of your battery now. Okay, so if you're going to put the BMS here on top, BMS B minus is just right there. So B minus, this is your total negative, and then your B plus is here. So B plus total positive. Now we just have to weld the tabs to the battery. As you can see in the video. So we are going to put now the BMS. So just insert the tabs. Okay. Just like that. See? It's completely inserted. Okay, then we will solder it. So we need to solder now the nickel plates to the main board, the BMS. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm soldering it to the nickel plates. The next step is we need to solder the indicator light. Then we need to to solder it to the main board now, the indicator lights.
then you just need to put the two screws in just put the spring inside and then just cover it now Then just screw the four bolts in. So this is the final step. Just have to put this sticker. So this is the final product. See? It's so all good. So for comparison, this is the 5AH uh, 18650. Then this is the uh, 10AH 21700. So let's test it if it will work. working very well so if you like this video don't forget to click subscribe like and share so thanks for watching